Do you want to aim like a pro in Valorant, Apex and Fortnite and ensure you never miss another headshot again? Then watch this video and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm Bearded Bob and I've been gaming for 35 years. I've been checking out the latest mice keyboard mods. I've been doing reviews on gaming peripherals. So if you want to get the competitive edge over your rivals from someone who's been around for decades, then you've come to the right place. So I'm going to show you today is a new feature in Aim Labs, which is free. You can download it from Steam and it's under custom and then it's called settings optimizer. And this is going to optimize your aim sensitivity with the game that you're playing. Now, for instance, today we're going to use Valorant, but you can do this on many other games. So, well, I'm just going to use Valorant in this specific instance, but do exactly the same for all your other games. Now today, I'm also going to be using the Aim Labs ROG mouse. As a comparison, I'll be reviewing this very shortly. We're going to use this today. I'm going to show you how to set it up. You should use this setup for every mouse that you have because the DPI deviation can cause you a difference in sensitivity. If you want to be that good as a pro, this is what you're going to have to do each time you change your mouse. You might want to do it each day, depending on how you feel that day because your reaction times might be slower. It's going to take about 10 minutes when you do this. Obviously, we're going to skip through that a little bit. But that's how long it's going to take you per day. So it's not the end of the world in terms of time. I know some of you probably do some aim training as well. This is definitely what I'm going to try and do to get your day going on the right ponage level. So here's my valence settings at 0.42 sensitivity. And I've got one scoped sensitivity multiplier. We're going to do a quick test here as a benchmark so that we can then later on compare it to the results. And you can make your mind up whether you think it's made an improvement or not. I'll show you whether you think it's going to be beneficial. Oh man, my aim is not good today. See, I'm missing a few of the top of the heads. I'm not expecting it to be too bad here compared to some other one. It would be interesting to see those results. There we have. Now, if we go into options and we look at my controls, you can see I'm using Valorant. So you set your game profile on this level. As I say, you can pick many different games. There's absolutely tons. So I'm sure you're going to find the right game that you want. You also want to set your in-game sensitivity, which mine's not right. Mine is now 42. This is what I've been playing on. And scope ADS is one now what you also want to do is check your 360 is what a lot of people want to do which is like how how far you 360 in game by how much movement left to right you use so you can go to sensitivity options and advanced and now you'll see my ads 360 and my 360 distance so 19 centimeters is my general 360 when i'm hit firing a lot of people have high ones you could have 50 i'm quite high sense um, as you can see some people might have a lot lower than that if they use a lot more of the pad. I tend to just use this part of the mouse pad here. So once you've set that in, we can then go to customs. We've got to save your settings. That'd be good. And then you go to customs and you've got sensitivity optimizer. So we're going to click into this. Then once you're in settings optimizer, you can use sensitivity, mouse DPI, angle turning, lift off distance. This is on 1600 DPI. You're going to have to find your own DPI settings. I will be doing some videos in the future. You can see, optimize your flick sensitivity in approximately 10 minutes. And this will focus on finding a sensitivity for flicks that are less than 180 degrees. Then add full support for 180 down the road though, which will be cool. Gives you a quick overview of what you're going to do. I'll explain this as we go ahead. And at the end, it will tell you what your sensitivity is. It's going to try high sensitivity, low sensitivity. It's going to mess around, just continue playing with it. You won't, you'll miss shots. That's what it's intending you to do. So it can find your optimized level. It says here at the end, Aim Labs will present you with a result based on your performance. You can then choose to accept or deny the recommendations. I reckon you accept it and give it a bit of a try and see what you think. You can always put your sensitivity back in game. So here's the stats. We click continue. And now we click to begin. So ignoring settings in terms of sensitivity. This one's the first one you've got to track. Just keep tracking it. 
I said each mouse is also different. And now onto the next round. Onto the next round, click to begin. And on this one, we have to shoot each one with a quick flick. So left mouse button. Keep trying to catch them. So you don't worry if you miss. And then once it's done these three, there's three of these, it'll then reset to the next one. Oops. I'm missing a few even on my standard settings. It was a bit slow to me to be fair, this mouse. And then the final one. The final one's this little precision one, which is dead very difficult to get. Again, left click to shoot, and you gotta try and hit them. <laughs> he says. So my set you can tell here my optimization and my sensitivity is not right. You can tell straight away. All right, so I could definitely improve, which is why I'm going to show you. I'll show you the end result as well. Show you what how I've improved. And we can compare against my original Valorant test. You can see here. That wasn't the best. I'll keep completing this and I'll meet you at the end of it when I've done all my tests. So you get an idea of what kind of results you can expect. And there is the final result. So we've got a 23.52360. I have had higher than that, as in, or lower. I've had 11 centimeter one, so keep playing around. And um, this is depending on the mouse, which this one is, probably depends on the time of day. So like I said, sometimes you might want to run it yourself. Now you can retry it. If you didn't like that, you can decline it. I'm going to apply it. So now we've got a 23.516 centimeter circle. Sensitivity 0.347 on hip fire and the ADS sensitivity 1.033. So let's go test that now in Valorant. So once you're in Valorant, you need to go to your settings and I need to enter your aim sensitivity setting. Mine was 0 0.347 and then my scoped was 1.03. Commit those changes, just check they've been taken because sometimes they don't. There's my settings now. Now let's go practice on the firing range and let's see if this is any better than what the benchmark was at the start of the video. So let's see on my firing range what it's like. Not bad at all. So if you like this video, you definitely want to check out this one. That is going to show you the Razer Viper Signature Edition against other mice like the Lamzu, the XM2, loads of other mice that have just been released. And you're going to know how to ensure then you've got the right grip, the right mouse for your hand size, and that you're going to have that competitive edge over your rivals.